Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Wei Lai from the NDI Engagement Office. NDI stands for National Digital Identity, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. Smart Nation is about harnessing technology to the fullest, creating more opportunities for innovation, and ultimately improving lives of everyone living here in Singapore. And the cornerstone of this Smart Nation vision is our national digital identity. National digital identity is not just a digital credential. It's not just that account that allows you to access government e-services, not just that mobile app that contains your digital NRIC. More importantly, NDI is also a digital enabler. This is because we have built a world-class infrastructure that is robust and reliable. And that is used along with information from various government agencies. These two coupled together, we now have a digital platform of products that organizations such as your own can easily integrate with to fully tap on its benefits. We have a suite of six API products all assessed through a common gateway, which is your SingPass account or SingPass app. The first API product in the suite is MyInfo, which has been around for about five years. MyInfo allows for any SingPass user to authorize the attraction of his data to be shared with specific organizations to facilitate specific transactions. For example, a seamless registration of a volunteer or a donor or sim seamless registration to uh, application process or account opening. SingPass Login. This is an authentication service that you would probably be familiar with. Traditionally used by all government e-services such as CPF and IRS, it was, it was made available for private organization adoption since 2019. And today, with a simple scan of a QR code, users can gain access to hundreds of government and private sector e-services. In a face-to-face -face setting, the Verify API allows you to verify the identity of a user without the need to exchange physical identification materials, such as customer contact centers. Sign API allows a user to sign an electronic document using his or her SingPass app, effectively binding the identity to the document. The signing also comes with legal presumptions recognized in the Singapore Court of Law. For more sensitive transactions, the Identiface API can be used as a step-up authentication. And lastly, with remote authorization, it is possible for organizations to reach out to users proactively to seek explicit consent for specific transactions. The focus for today's discussion will be my info and login APIs. Let's take a look first at my info. Shall we begin with a simple exercise since it's post lunch? Without referring to any documents, try to recall your NRIC number. Well, that was easy. How about your taxable income, your notice of assessment over the past year or over the past two years? And for those of you who are married, do you remember the date of your ROM? Or if you have children, the birth cert number of your children? Still with me? I honestly can't recall all of this information just from memory alone. But the thing is, you don't have to. All these information are registered with various government agencies, and all you need is a convenient way to extract this data when you need it. What I just demonstrated is one key benefit of my info, the convenience on customers and users. The frictionless instant retrieval of your own data leads to an improved user experience. The other key benefit is the quality and accuracy of data, which greatly enhances the KYC process or know your customer with the data coming directly from various government agencies which owns it, there's no longer the need to produce paperwork just to prove the authenticity of the data. For example, credit card application in the past was a cumbersome process compared to today's standards. In a typical user journey, the applicant had to print out CPS statements, photocopies of identification mater materials, and fill up a lengthy paper form and finally mail it out to the credit card company in the hopes that it won't get lost. Today, the entire application can be completed on the comfort of your living room couch with just a few taps on your mobile phone. Similarly, you can also implement something 
for any of your sign up or data verification processes, such as uh, when you're doing means assessment for your beneficiaries. Let's take a quick look at this example from NUHS. My info is used here seamlessly with the app for user profile creation and updates. Explicit consent is also an integrated part of the user journey, which is handled entirely by us. And the end state is really a win-win situation for all parties involved. Users enjoy the convenience and time savings arising from improved user experience. Businesses and organizations reap resource savings in costs, man hours, even storage space. They can now focus on managing relationships with your users rather than managing the paperwork supporting these relationships. And my info supports myriad use cases. For as long as your processes involve data collection from your users, it can potentially benefit from my info. Next, I will talk about login. With an increasingly connected world, protecting your digital assets becomes increasingly important, but it also becomes increasingly difficult. Today, an average person has dozens of e-services which require secure access control, ranging from Facebook and Instagram accounts to your CPF and brokerage accounts. And who is to say that having your social media account compromised is less painful than a financial service, for example, right? It's up to individuals. My point is, they all matter to you. But if you were to be honest with yourself, do you really practice good password hygiene on all of these accounts? You see, that's precisely the problem. Security and convenience are sometimes at odds with each other. Now, even if you do practice good password hygiene on all of the accounts, it's going to require effort. But it doesn't have to be this way. It can sometimes be the case where security and convenience go hand in hand. And that is exactly the value proposition for having a SingPass login. What you see here is the traditional login mechanism using the SingPass ID and password. When a user enters the ID and password correctly, he or she will be then challenged by a second authentication factor. Traditionally, this had been SMS OTP or even earlier days, the one key token. This was further improved when we launched the QR code login mechanism and the SingPass app. With this improvement, the login became truly passwordless. And in 2019, this was further enhanced. Instead of going to the SingPass login page to scan the QR code, organizations can now bring the QR code to the users. This embedded QR code can be integrated with a web or mobile application. Users can now complete the authentication process with just a few taps on the phone. I understand that the video may be a bit choppy, but the video link is uh, reflected in, on the screen itself. So feel free to take a look at it if you need to. Uh, you can see from this example, the user never had to key in anything at all. No passwords, not even user ID. The process may look fast and simple, but it is highly secure. Now the user has to have the mobile phone with the SingPass app enrolled. That's something you have because only one phone in the world can do that. And during the authentication process, there was the use of the phone's biometrics or as Hui Xin described earlier, the six digit pin. That's something you are or something you know. So combined, these are at least two factors of authentication. SingPass login is really about giving that passwordless experience to your users. With less passwords to remember, this also means less attack vectors from malicious actors. For organizations, this could mean potentially reducing the cost of maintaining your own secure authentication system. And with over 4 million SingPass users, 
it's highly likely that your users are already familiar with the use of this feature. And when they do have account related problem with their SingPass accounts, they won't go to you, they will come to us. Here I outline the overview of how the SingPass API onboarding process looks like. It will differ slightly between my info as well as a login, uh, but the general principle and the process, the broad processes are the same, right? You will begin first with a decision-making process. Uh, this is the process, this is the stage where we will get in touch with you and go through your use case and ascertain what APIs would be the most suitable for your scenario. And we will also set together a, a timeline for your implementation. And uh, simultaneously, or you can wait until this, this process is completed, uh, you can do the link up request submission on the SingPass API portal. Next, you will go into the preparation phase. Uh, this is the stage where you will have to undertake the technical preparations uh, such as uh, procuring uh, digital certificates. If you're doing my info, uh, if you're doing a login, you will need to generate your own elliptic curve key sets and host it on your endpoint. Uh, and along with this, we will need to uh, gather some technical details from you, such as your uh, domain name, such as your callback URL. All these are detailed in our specs. So uh, not to worry if uh, you need more information. It's there and you can refer to them. And should you have uh, any further questions, you can also check with the engagement office. And at the end of the preparation phase, uh, what will happen is uh, we will configure uh, the, the parameters that you submitted to us. And once we do so, you will be able to enter the next stage, which is staging testing. And in this phase, you will uh, test out all the front end and back end changes that uh, you would eventually roll into production, right? And, and the objective of this staging testing is for you to make sure that the API calls are successful, uh, the flows, the API flows are being executed correctly. And ultimately at the end of the day for both my info and login is for you to be able to obtain the corresponding payload. For my info, it will be the various user data fields and for login, it will be the user NRIC and UUID for you to identify who the user is, right? And finally, you integrate this, uh, these APIs into your entire e-service to make it a seamless flow. At the end of the staging testing, uh, once you have ascertained that uh, everything is working correctly, we will then set a target to launch, which is the next stage. We will first verify that uh, staging testing had been successful and then we will request that you provide all the production details or, or the keys or the digital certificates, as well as uh, the URL, the callback URL and the domain name to be configured. We would then deploy to production environment uh, based on a pre-arranged, pre-agreed state. And uh, once we do this production deployment, you will be able to test API flow in production environment. Uh, this time with real SingPass credentials. All right, so today we have taken a look at six API products, but the takeaway is that all these APIs, they are just tools and there is flexibility in how you use these tools. Uh, what I want to highlight is also that, that there is a tripartite interdependent relationship. NDI built these tools, organizations such as yours, integrate with these tools. And ultimately the end users, the citizens, they embrace these tools and benefit from these tools. Without any of these three, without the active participation from anyone, this grand smart nation vision of ours cannot materialize. So come on board with us and help make this vision a reality. If you are keen to find out more about how the use of SingPass APIs can potentially empower your organization and benefit your users, please feel free to reach out to us through the QR code uh, and the email indicated. We will reach out to you and guide you on the use of the APIs and should you decide to onboard with us, also guide you on the next steps for the onboarding process. This is the end of my sharing. 
I invite you to share your thoughts and ask any questions that you may have. Uh, due to the time limit, we may not be able to address all the questions, uh, but we can certainly follow up our discussion individually after this. Thank you.